I don't believe that more can't be done to get him home. Tonight, only on 2 News, the wife of Navy Lieutenant imprisoned in Japan says she is disappointed her husband is still behind bars one year later. Ridge Alconis, who has Utah ties, is now a third of the way through his prison sentence after a fatal car crash. But Senator Mike Lee hopes crossing that year mark will bring some new progress in the case. Daniel Woodruff joining us live from the state capitol tonight to explain. Daniel. The Alconas family has rallied here at the Utah State Capitol. They've also tried to get the attention of officials in D.C., but a year later, their loved one remains in prison. But today, Utah senior senator telling me he believes this case is within months of finally being resolved. This is definitely surprising and incredibly disappointing. Brittany Alconas says the last 365 days have taken a toll on her and her children. My kids feel the absence of their father every single day. Her husband, Lieutenant Ridge Alconis, has been imprisoned in Japan one year. He was sentenced after a car crash where he blacked out at the wheel, hitting and killing two people. The Navy and his family say Ridge suffered a medical emergency and they paid restitution, but he still went to prison. I do feel a little abandoned, you know, just as a military family, we can't send our people overseas and and then not protect them. Last year, Brittany and her kids protested outside the White House. In February, she met briefly with President Biden. The president said he'd get the job done and, and it's not, it's not done. I really had thought that something would happen, some, something certainly should have happened. Senator Mike Lee is pushing for Ridge Alconis to be sent back to the U.S., which he believes could now happen soon. It is apparently customary in their legal system to wait until one-third of the sentence has been completed. It's a three-year sentence. He's now been in there for a year. He's also pushing for a review of agreements between the U.S. and countries where service members are stationed. How optimistic or not are you that this will be resolved in the next few months or so? I am very optimistic that we're looking at um, uh, Lieutenant Alconis returning to the United States within a matter of months. We just don't know exactly how many. And for now, Brittany Alconis and her three children are back in the United States in Washington, D.C. They're meeting with members of Congress. They're also pushing for another meeting with President Biden. Reporting live, Daniel Woodruff, KUTV, 2 News.